Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of June 2020. And I'll um, start it off with the Oracle card. Then I'll be going into the reading. And then I'll close it off with another Oracle card for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now... Let's uh, get you started with the Sacred Traveler Oracle. You get Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you. Very, very nice. Very, very nice, Cancer. Now, let's see what's going on here. All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the Four of Cups, this is talking about boredom, about discontent, about a eh, kind of energy, but something's changing for you. This is how the reading starts. Uh, it starts with the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the Page of Wands. Something's changing um, in this energy and you're starting to get more curious and more into the things that you do so let's say you have a job and you always looked at this job as being very very boring like oh my god i hate my job you're actually starting to see the good things there's always some good things in anything that we do even if it's the worst job ever it has to have something at least one thing that's good and i feel like you're starting to see those things in a lot of things that you're involved in in your life um your focus here happiness the ten of cups happiness possibly with somebody as i said if your energy does change into that it's gonna bring in love it's gonna make you see love that's always been there but sometimes we're like eh, i don't see it um love th flows through you and to you kind of thing uh in your recent past is the past <laughs> you looking at the past too much and being possibly stuck in that energy and that's probably what brought you into this boredom kind of state into my life not really great at the time it's it kind of sucks because if you were looking at something that doesn't seem to be quite positive in here something from the past um yeah then of course you got into that state your strength here you're a powerful manifester, especially right now. You're in this period of time where things might happen just like that. And again, when you open your heart, yeah, it does happen where you're starting to manifest things a lot faster than before. In the immediate future, victory, something that makes you feel pretty darn good about the situation. Supporting this energy, the Seven of Cups options. This is very interesting because, yeah, when somebody opens up their heart, these all align in a perfect kind of sense. The magician is here. The options are here. Everything's here. And I bet everything was here. But because you are looking at things in a very different way from a very different energy, you couldn't even see them. And now you're starting to see them. They're starting to show up. And it's making you feel good. The energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it, you're working on yourself, baby. I think that's what does it. There's a lot of work you're putting into yourself. Uh, you're hoping that you'll get to the point where you're going to be able to recognize what doesn't serve you anymore. And not only that, but are going to have the courage to walk away from it. And you're getting there. Um, the potential outcome here, the Seven of Wands. This card feels to me more and more like a um, 
a relapse kind of energy of I'm opening up, I'm starting to see things in a very different way. Uh, doors are opening left and right for me. But at the same time, sometimes I'm going back to who I was or what that energy did for me for quite a long time. So I'm kind of falling back into things, resisting what I'm seeing, questioning what I'm seeing. Should I believe it? Should I trust it? You know, this is what this card is to me more and more. But let's clarify. Let me clarify the Four of Cups. <clears throat> the King of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Justice card. This is you waiting for some sort of an apology, some sort of somebody acknowledging that they did something to you. No, you know, it's not gonna help. Look what's creating this energy of, they better come and apologize to me. That's expectation. You can't control what another person is gonna do. And this is you with the King of Cups here, waiting, waiting for this justice to come in for you. Let's see what changed here. Let's see this Wheel of Fortune. The Ten of Pentacles, the uh, Ace of Wands, and the Temperance card. Oh. It's like hope. Hope that things are going to be okay. You got that glimpse of, I know it's going to work out somehow, you know, I know it's going to be okay in the end. With or without this person, just for me, in the end, it's going to work out. Something, something happened here that you found a little bit of hope. That's what changed that energy of uh, boredom. Let's see this page of wands. The page of cups, the seven of cups, and the queen of wands. I kind of feel here like... Um, you're dealing with something um, of something new, something um, that you're looking at as, let's try this one out. Let's see if this connection is going to go anywhere. You know, kind of like that. It, it has that sense of, let's explore this new thing that's opening up for me. Let's explore this person that just showed up in my life yesterday, you know? Not in the sense of, I'm going to take this to the next level in a couple of months and I'm going to make it stable and not even that. It's just curiosity. It's just opening up to, let's see where, where this goes. You know, there's some things, it feels new. It feels, it doesn't have to be a new person. It could be an old person, but the energy of it feels like, let's, let's just see where it goes. Let's not plan. Let's not expect. Let's not try to control this to go any kind of way. Let's just see what it ha what happens. You know? It's a very interesting kind of energy. And it feels good. It feels good to your heart. Let me clarify the Ten of Cups. The Four of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Strength card. You got a lot of fire, especially Leo, showing up for you. Um... But there's something here. There's something very confusing. You don't know what to decide about. Uh, it does seem like a long-term connection. It could be a marriage for some of you. But there's a little bit of a confusion when it comes to this connection. Um, I don't know. It could be just about anything. Like um, 
should I get my wife the red flowers or the yellow flowers? You know, it could be just because I don't feel it as, oh my God, uh, life changing kind of decision. I don't feel it necessarily like that. I feel it more like, hmm, I'm in a pickle here, you know, kind of situation. So I don't know what that is, but it's very interesting. And that's in your focus, um, which is telling me you're thinking about it quite a lot, especially with the two of swords being there. Let me clarify the five of cups. You get the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the King of Wands. This is um, this is you trying to work on uh, the King of Wands again. You got Lee all over the place, um, but this is I feel like this is you trying to work on things and. Hmm, there is again that expectation that things should happen in a certain way and then they didn't and then that caused disappointment, duh. So I don't know if that's you or your person. I kind of see that as being you, though. Yeah, things are not going to go according to plan. I mean, look at what's happening in the world. How many of us had plans before we got locked in? I bet a lot of us. What did we do? We adjusted. Uh, you can't. You never know what's going to happen. How do you? How do you think you're going to have control over something? How are people still convinced they're in control? Curious. Uh, let's see the magician. You get the Eight of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition more, because you're trying to manifest something and it's not coming together because you're doing it from here. You can't manifest from here. You're, you're manifesting with your heart, uh, with your soul, with your intuition, not with your mind. And because you're a little too much in your head, that might not come to fruition, that manifestation that you're trying to, to bring in. Which is telling me again, uh, there's... What is this with you? Because you're not like this usually. What's this fixation of controlling things? What is this? Why is this here? Let me clarify the Six of Wands. The Ace of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Three of Swords. You want to take action towards this connection. And the fact that you want to take action brings you a lot of happiness. A lot of yes, I will. And yes, it's going to happen. Uh, a lot of optimism. Uh, but at the same time, there's something there. There's something there that holds you back. That And there's pain there that holds you back. There's um, fear of pain, fear of having your heart broken. How are we ever gonna love if we go by these fears? You know. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. The Eight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. You have options opening up for you, but you're not interested. You're not interested. You want to work on this conflict. There's some sort of conflict going on with you and your one person that you're interested in. All the other options, it's like, yeah, whatever. You know, yeah, let's try this, but it's not going to work out. So once you s said that, guess what's going to happen? It's not going to work out. Um, let me clarify the Seven of Pentacles and the Hidden Energies. Yeah, this is what you're working towards. This is your goal. Getting the two of you back together here in love. And I feel like for now it's not happening. And it's not happening because possibly you're not focusing in the right direction on yourself. You're possibly focusing on them a lot. More than you are focusing on yourself. Um, let me clarify the Eight of Cups. The Ace of Cups, the Devil, and the Knight of Pentacles. Whew. 
there's this new love offer coming in, but you don't trust it. There's something about it that you don't trust. I feel like you placed it in that um, this is not going to work out. This is going to be toxic kind of drawer. You know, you, you place this new love coming in in that. And that's why you have your back turned towards it. It's kind of like I'm wishing for something to happen, but when it does come, I'm just going to walk away from it because I don't really trust it. Why would you wish it in the first place, you know? Because it does feel like a turnaround and then you're like, yeah, no, change my mind. Uh, it's still going to move forward, but in a very slow way um, because of this rejection, because of this back turned. Let me clarify the Seven of Wands. The Emperor, the Death card, and the Judgment. This is a lesson that you're going to have to deal with, and it's going to be a struggle. Um, going within and seeing why you're rejecting the things that you're rejecting, like this one. This is something that you're wishing for. This is something that you want to happen. And then when it does happen, you're like, no, I don't want it. That's the lesson you need to learn there. The endings, these endings that you're putting on things. Why are you doing that? Because they hurt me. Okay, where's that fear coming from? Or that pain? It comes from a fear of something or an insecurity or something. So these things, all of them, are going to take you within. And that's when the work will start for you. Let me see what the universe has for you. Yeah, things are moving along in this connection. Again, it shows up as a marriage or a long-term commitment. And I see you wanting to take action towards it. You're moving pretty slow here. Uh, you or the person you're dealing with. Again, I do see love coming in. In the way that you're asking for it. And then you are going to be like, nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um... Let's close it off with the Oracle card from the Soul's Journey. You get pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So don't be too proud to not do that. All right. Uh, that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.